Hey, it's Ben. I just read Boys on the Run by Hannah Zavakengo, the guy who made I'm Hero, one of my personal favorites, and I just needed to talk about it. I have to let this frustration out. It is unbelievable how the author can write something that keeps you reading it, even though you fucking hate it. That's right, I fucking hate this manga, but I also love the manga. This this video is going to be full of spoilers, so if you're intending to read it yourself, close this shit right now. Oh, and uh, this is going to be explicit, so kids, you should go watch something else. The story is about this 27-year-old loser named Tanisi Toshiyuki. He's stuck in this dead-end job refilling toy machines, and if it weren't for prostitutes, he'd still be a virgin, living with his parents and with no ambition. He's almost stalking a woman at work named Chiharu Emura and they end up going out, but since she's a virgin and he's a fuck up, everything goes to shit. Don't get me wrong, it starts looking like this guy might start getting his shit together, but no, no. Nothing will ever go well for this guy. And it's not like he deserves it to go well, but it is incredibly frustrating to read. He ends up almost fucking Chiharu's neighbor slash friend and is too scared to face her, thus fucking things up royally. He then finds out that Chiharu has been seeing a guy from a rival toy company, someone he considered a friend, Ayoyama. A womanizing, successful and good looking guy who helped Tanishi get together with Chiharu in the first place. And of course, while Tanishi is wallowing in self-pity, Ayuyama steals Chiharu's toy idea, gets her pregnant, and dumps her. See, this is where I would have felt bad for Chiharu, but she is a fucking cunt. She's delusional and talks shit about people to make her look better. I fucking hate her. Well, of course, when Tanishi finds out about it, he goes with her to get an abortion, helps her out, and vows to fight Aoyama. See? Character development. He's becoming a man. Not a great man, but at least someone who will take care of someone. But of course, he fucks that shit up. Chiharu still loves Aoyama, even after what he did to her, and she resigns from work and moves back home to her parents. Tanishi gets help from a co-worker who's an ex-boxer to learn a sucker punch and goes to fight Aoyama and proceeds to get his ass beat, pissing himself and get his ass beat some more. He then runs to see Chiharu off at the train station, fucks up a goodbye by basically calling her a whore and asking for a blowjob. Also, he quits his job. I fucking hate this guy. That was the first 50 chapters of the series. Of me just fucking hating everything, but being unable to stop reading. I recognize that that is, that, that is some kind of art to be able to stir this kind of emotion in people. Have them fucking hate it, hate it, but can't stop it. I, I just had to continue, I had to know how the fuck... Tanishi is gonna fuck things up even more than this. After half a year of moping around, he finds himself looking for hookers in Korea that look like Chiharu and ends up meeting with a boxer he recognized from watching one of his fights earlier. They bang hookers, talk about dreams, and he decides to start boxing. And of course, the first chick he sees at the gym is the one that had saved him from thugs a couple of times. And he falls head over heels for, for her immediately. It also turns out the girl, Hana, is deaf. She helps out at the boxing gym, but her main work is being a nude model for stuff like art classes. So partially to impress her, impress her he keeps practicing boxing and they become friends. See, I like Hana. She is basically the only character in the series that I like. And uh, I want her to be happy. Like she she is genuinely a nice person. 
And of course those two get together and Tanishi manages to fuck things up again. But to be fair, this time it wasn't completely his fault. Uh, after after he brings her uh, Hana home to his parents, he actually finds out that um, she is still married. She told him that, but he didn't actually hear it before, so it came as a bit of a shock. He uh, takes it pretty hard, says things he shouldn't have, but at least he doesn't make the same mistake again. And uh, in a couple days he f picks him up and he goes to see her. She had gone to Nagano for a job and he he chases her there but as it turns out the ex Chiharu is actually now studying at the school that Hana is going to go work for and she is the one that's like helping her get around there and when Tanishi comes over there and sees Hana and apologizes and she has shit to do like they 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 go their own ways but things are looking up Chiharu comes around and fucks things up so fucking hard this fucking malicious bitch I can I'm so fucking frustrated she lies to Tanishi tells that Hana hates her that Hana still loves her husband and then manipulates Tanishi by slashing her wrist like not like suicide but like slashing her wrist and then uh, gets him to go to a hotel with her because she doesn't want to go to the hospital because he she's just fucking manipulating him and she ends up seducing him and he manages to stop things before sex and he says that no I can't do this I love Hana and he gets out he meets up with Hana after her jobs are done and they go back home and of course later Chiharu sends a message saying like thanks I had a great time at the love hotel don't let Hana know and of course Hana finds out and she dumps him yeah at this point like yeah I I kind of feel happy for Hana just because this way she wouldn't have to suffer anymore with Tanishi but Tanishi has been making steps to become a better man like I, I, I wanna see him become a better man so it is regrettable and of course at this point to throw even more shit in the works Hana's husband turns up this fucking Xboxer bum comes, comes over there and is basically begging for money and uh, when he finds out that uh, Tanishi has been kinda going out with Hana he decides to beat him up and extort him for money so that he would uh, sign the divorce papers for Hana and that's where the scandalization ends I think there's only like 13 chapters left I'm really annoyed at that shit <laughs> I think there's a movie about the series so I'm probably gonna have to look at that and see how it ends because I want to know how it ends and the scanlations like I don't think there's been a chapter translated in years <sighs> overall I, I just I know this video was really rambly and probably pointless but I just I needed to get this shit out I read this series in one sitting this morning I woke up, I was like, oh, what is this? 
Oh, it's from the same same guy who made I Am a Hero. I should definitely re definitely read this. <sighs> I'm sure anyone who has actually read the series will know where I'm coming from, and will understand why I'm this <laughs> fucking upset at the series. <sighs> I hate it, but it's a good series. Go read it yourself. See you, weeps.